Hi everybody, it's Mo and Joe over here at Mojo Treasures and I just want to show you what I've been working on. This is one of my latest little books and I started making this one a while ago but I, I'm still not done with it so this one's st still a work in progress but I just want to show you that I did not want to wreck this paper because it says bloom right where you're planted. How perfect is that? And uh, anyway, when I made this book, I decided because I love making books and I can get sidetracked faster than most. Hence my point. Okay, so I had never made any of the stick pins. I had never made any of the flowers, which I singed on purpose, okay, to make one of my own little flowers. But I decided, you know, I haven't got to do any of my stamping for a while and I absolutely love stamping. So I decided to make a book to show you guys about getting back to the basics. So I just came back on my pretty paper and I just stamped one of my beloved little stamps, which is um, Stamps by Judith. She's got some really terrific stuff. You can make so many things with just a few stamps. That's her shtick and it's true. So then I came back and I used my, um, the new Sizzix dies. I got four of them from Blue Moon Scrapbooking. And this one comes with two different birds. Um, one's sitting down, he's got his little feet. This guy's kind of standing up. And then I went ahead and ran them through the um, Tim Holtz, um, embossed uh, textured folder and so I got that look instead of having to sand it but what I really like about this one is because he's already got a slit you could tuck in like I showed you on one of my other videos I tuck a feather in there to make it look more real so anyway so this little book is all about getting back to stamping which I just love but also too I have to show you I'm going to do a video on this one because you guys are making gorgeous flowers out there, the lollipops and all the other different kind. Well, I've come up with a technique that I don't think anybody else is doing. Of course, I haven't watched all the videos that are out there, which there's like a million of them. So I made my own, and, and but I made these instead of being out of um, fabric. I made them out of, are you ready for this? Plastic bags, which I came back and I used my... Um, Tim Holtz alcohol ink and just I did a whole thing but I'll show you that later okay so anyway so this is one of my little books and if you notice I totally love see this is all about La Jardin which is the garden and so I've got my little um, um, accoutrements over here that we used for in the garden and then I just came back with a little bit of my tape and stuff but this book is all about watercolor little envelope here little envelope here a little bit of the um, um, bird nests and such a B okay all tomorrows are in the seeds of today one of my favorite stamps and then I put my beloved dogwood which I believe was Inka Dinka Doo and the lace oh yeah my beloved uh, Maya Road so we got that and then we've got some of the Prima little butterflies and look what I discovered you guys I was wrapping some of my new lace that I got from um, from Blue Moon I believe this one's Maya Road also so I'm tying it up at the end and I decided you know what I don't want to I, after I knotted it, I said, if I take those ends and just twist them around, look at that in itself, it's another little flower. What do you think? Okay, so then we get on to um, all about the garden, all about the birds and soft watercolors. This is one of my favorite little ones that I got from um, Stampin' Up. The way to know life is to love many things. And Vincent Van Gogh said that, who was a true artist, I believe. Okay, and then I made another little flower, did some more watercolor, a little more Meyer Road. Then I got completely sidetracked. My friend um, Terry came by. I have, actually have this one upside down, but it's a little girl blowing out a birthday cake, which I put some diamond dust on there and some more little ribbon. And it's on one of the seven gypsy cards and couldn't help myself. Here we go again with that beloved little tape of theirs I love. But this was actually an envelope. And so Terry loaned me her um, little stamp, which I believe was red lead. Isn't she cute? She totally looks like a vintage photo. And then there's a, like a little place in the top for stick and stuff. And so as I mixed up my book with the paper bag ones, just so I could get tags. But this book, like I said, is not done. And then I decided for my pockets, this one, I did it, cut the bottom of it and made it into three, stamped a little more, and, uh, and then just made a little cover for um, journaling and stuff. And it's like three pages, but there's nothing on it yet, okay? And so a little bit more Maya ribbon, and that just goes back in there. And then some of my little Michaels, remember I told you guys I bought a bunch of those little magnets, they were three for a buck. So this one says fly. And this is another one of my little flowers I did. This is one of my pansies. I've decided I'm just calling, in case you didn't know that the pansy has either four or five of it's the giant ones, uh, petals, that, um, that that's a pansy. I'm calling them all most fantasy flowers. Then we've got some Prima in here. And then I made another little stick pin. Here was my first one. It was actually the first one I made as opposed to the one on the front. 
And then we've got more about the watercolors. It's all about, okay, who's the guys were these? Okay, these were um, artistic outposts. I don't know if you can see the detail on this, but this was my first attempt into making that pocket watch, which has a tree in the house and the numbers. It's all within the clock. I decided to hang it up with a, um, a little brad and make it like a pocket watch. But this is all about the garden. So these are all, these stamps here and these right here are all from um, Artistic Outpost. Then get this, you know how you can never throw out a piece of paper because you might just need it later? This little, fr I'm calling it a, um, a film slot or whatever, this was actually one of my cuddle bug ones that had the, the, a seashell and a starfish or something and something. Anyways, before I threw it, I said, well, let me just jag up that edge and make that all ratty looking. And it's now my window. So I have a little window box. See the little box with my birds? And there you go. And then I decided, well, I haven't used my inchies for a while either. So I took some of my inchies, took one stamp, which actually has three of my favorite little birds all in a row. And clearly they wouldn't fit. So I took my two favorites off there and slapped those on there and did one with the little bee and one with the little flower, which is that same flower there that's pretty much everywhere. And then my dandelion one, which I just love. Okay, and now here we get into not finished. But anyway, um, I love these papers. These papers are those beautiful capellas that I like so much from uh, Basic Gray. And then back to Seven Gypsies, took one of the almanac cards and put the beloved little um, birds up there. Okay, we just gotta do something here yet. And there. And then we've got more my isn't that lovely with the netting behind it? I just think it's fabulous. And then some more of the Capella paper. And then back to my favorite stamp. See, there's the third one that went on. Where did he go? Where? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see these two? They belong with him. So see, you can just change out your inches and do whatever. And if you've never had buy a package of inches, you could just make your own little one inch cubes. So there you go. And then I took this whole stamp, which was also um, artistic outpost and I cut it. It was Love's, um, Love's Golden Memories, which is actually a song, but I cut it out trying to go for a window and it didn't work out so good, but you can still see my doily behind there. And then the Belle La Jardinière, which is the gardener. Okay, and then I just cut out one of my Tim Holtz um, um, die cuts. And now we are not done. So I'm covering this one up. This will be like such and this will be like such and I'll show you my finished product when I finish. But anyways, I had a ball doing this, and um, if you guys haven't made one of these kind of books, I don't know that it's anything special, but it's just knocking it up a notch and doing it a different way. So don't forget to play, have fun, and thanks for stopping by and seeing me again. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, bye.